Uh, Ali, uh, first professional game. Can you just th- give us your thoughts on what that was like and just the atmosphere in the stadium tonight? Yeah, it's, I'm so grateful to have made my debut. I think the fans just made the environment immaculate. And every every second of the game, we were hearing them. And it was just pushing us to go on. And I think I'm just so grateful to play in front of this crowd and this team and hopefully um, continue the season on a good note. Ali, talk about your connection with Poe on the left. Yeah, I think um, de- it's definitely a new connection, but we are great friends off the field, so it helps on the field. I think her constant communication during the game has really helped me, especially since this is a new position for me playing at wing. So just defensively and attacking, just her positioning me and helping me out has been absolutely incredible, and I'm excited for that connection to continue to grow and look really good on that left side. If you want, um, just talking about the result in general. Obviously, not what you want out of your first game. Um, but what can you maybe take away from this game, and what were some things that you may think, think you guys can improve on from from this loss? I think it's a good start. I think with a new team and a new atmosphere, I think those mistakes came from ourselves, and I think those could be really good building blocks and learning lessons for us through the season. Yeah, I think honestly we came out of the gate really strong and I was really proud of our team. We had some really, really good moments that I think we can build on and definitely some plays that we can build on. Some, of, Like Carly said, like some of the stakes were, were on us and they, those are things that we can fix gratefully. So the things, that, <laughs> the things that we made mistakes on are things we can fix and then I think going forward it's going to look really good and I'm, I'm really hopeful and optimistic for us. Um, so for both of you, uh, we don't have the official number of the attendance yet, but it's kind of um, thought that not only is it a sellout, obviously, but the the biggest crowd to ever watch a women's soccer game in Utah and maybe like any women's sport ever in the States. So I'm just wondering what that means to each of you. Yeah, I think, I mean, this was definitely the biggest crowd I've ever played in front of, so that was pretty awesome. Um, The fans here are just so amazing, and I'm just so grateful to be in this state where they really support us and are just, even even after the loss, like, you could could hear them. They wanted to talk to us. They were still supporting us, and that really means a lot, and it's something I know personally pushes me to try to help this team win, so I think... That's really amazing, and I'm hoping we can continue to get those crowds. Yeah, it's an honor and a privilege to play in front of this crowd. Like, Utah is one of the best markets for it, and they show up for us. And like Ali said, like, we didn't get the result we wanted, but they still have our backs, and we're going to need that through the season as we continue to build. And I think that's awesome. Carlos, uh, Carlos you have to ask, ask, ask questions <clears throat> Tu opinión, Carly, ¿cuál, ¿cuál han sido las claves de la derrota de hoy? Carly, in your opinion, what do you think were the key points to the loss today? I think just the breakdown and defensive transition. I think that we got caught in really bad positions and just spread out, and we made our own mistakes in those positions. Without those, I think it's a different story. Thank you. Uh, Carly, for you, um, you were having a lot of communications with your defenders, and as you said, the, the, the transitions in defensively were something that you want to improve. What, what you were talking with your defenders while you got that getting mad with them or something? Yeah, I just think that, again, we were pulled out in just really bad spaces and just trying to close those distances between the two. I think. Again, if, if we close the distances between defenders and midfielders, it's a different story. And for you, Ali, um, you were playing on the scrimmages before the start of the season in left and right wing. Where do you feel more comfortable to play? Um, I'm really here to do whatever the team needs me to do. And wherever coach decides to put me, I'm going to put in my best work. Um, I enjoy being on the ball. I enjoy connecting with my teammates. So whatever that entails is where I want to play.